What's going on guys? Jeff from Total Justice Gaming here with another deck profile for you. Uh, I want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. We are working hard to bring you guys buddy fight deck profiles or match videos five days a week. Today's video is going to be the Dark Hero video. Uh, Dark Hero is one of my oldest, oldest decks. I think I dropped the majority of my Ranger deck the moment Dark Hero came out. Guys, I'll be honest with you, this is just a dirty, dirty deck. Uh, you get the win just like from out of nowhere in this thing. So we'll hop right into it. So our new buddy is the brand new Makuro. And we're going to hop right into it. So first three cards we got is... Uh, Noble of Darkness, Kill Knight. He's our size zero. Uh, we really don't play him. We keep him in hand for his ability. Uh, when this card is put from your hand into your drop zone, you can either gauge a card or you make the opponent lose a gauge. And then at the end of the battle, uh, that this card is attacked. Uh, if you have a Dark Hero item equipped, return this card to hand. I'll be honest, I never use that bottom ability. In fact, I actually get it confused with another card, the old Dark Hero card size zero but it's really important because we get free gauge just for pitching it or we make um the opponent lose a gauge we take one shadow hero weiss uh he's a three two zero um his numbers are okay he at least has that two crit going for him uh when his enters the field you may pitch a dark hero from your hand uh, and destroy an opponent's item on the field now, a lot of the items nowadays are can't be destroyed, can't be returned to hand, but there are still decks that do have uh, items that can be blown up, so he's our one tech card. And of course, like a large majority of this deck, after the end of the battle of this card, return it to your hand. Uh, we run, of course, four of the Scar. The Scar is just decent. He hits decent numbers. I wish it would be a 5-3-5, five, 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 but then, you know, he would have a call cost. Uh, but a 4-3-4 four, four is very respectable. Uh, his drawback, of course, is at the end of battle, you uh, gotta destroy it, but it's fair. Uh, next up, we are running... For Darkness Gwen, uh, Darkness Gwen is a 3-2-2, two, two, uh, no call cost. If I have another Dark Hero on the field, he has Shadow Dive. If he deals damage to the opponent, he returns to hand. Um, this got me a lot of wins and gave me a lot of free damage. So, really, really good. Uh, next up, we're running two Swartz SD. Swartz SD is a 3-2-1. No call cost. Uh, when he enters the field, you can discard a dark hero from your hand. If you do, put the top two card. You gauge two. In the battle, he returns to your hand. Uh, for size twos, uh, we run four of the buddy, uh, the new Makuro. Uh, the new Makuro is a six two six. He's an Omni Lord, meaning he can go in anything. Uh, at the end of the battle that this card attacked, you have four or less life or no monsters on the field. That's really important because it's an ore. So you can achieve his ability uh, two different ways. Uh, you can pay a gauge and if you do stand this card and destroy a monster in the opponent's field, only activates once per turn. Really important because his uh, destruction is not limited to size. Really good. Uh, you get a second attack out of him. Sure, he doesn't gain the crit that the other Makuro does, but he still deals a potentially four damage. And he has really decent numbers because you do get to transform into him, and his transform cost is a ga uh, two gauge. Uh, next up, we are running four of the original Makuro. There we go. Uh, he is a 5 2 5. He's also an Omni Lord. At the end of battle of this card, if you do not have a monster on the field, I can pay a gauge, stand him, and for this turn he gets plus one crit. It only activates once per turn, so he gets to attack potentially for five damage. His call cost is, uh, transform cost is one gauge. I still run four of him. Uh, he's a little less beefy, but this is when the kid just got the ability to become an Omni Lord, so I won't fall for that. Um, much to my chagrin, I'm actually only running one Schwartz. I know I told four I was running two. Apparently I'm only running one. Four thinks that's a little fishy because I had him in hand, but you know. You're dirty. I am. I, I told you this was a dirty deck at the beginning of the video. So, Schwartz is, uh, used to be the buddy. 
Uh, now I might take him out of one. Uh, he is a 724. Call cost is pay gauge and pitch a dark hero. Uh, he's got his dumb strike when he has ability to s destroy something on the opponent's field. Uh, at the end of battle, he returns to hand. Uh, next up, we are running, and this is it for the monsters, two inverted cranium reverse skull. He's a 5-2-2. Uh, if you have a dark hero item equipped, he's reduced to a size 1. That's fantastic. Uh, when he enters the field, you can pay a gauge and discard a card from your hand if you do. Uh, for this turn, your dark hero item on the field gets plus 2,000 power and plus 1 crit. Of course, at the end of battle, it returns to your hand. So on to our items. Uh, we are only running three Sneak Judgment. Sneak Judgment is so, so good. You guys saw what it did in the Daeva match. That was a very hard choice for me to make because I did have the ability to go into Makuro. But because uh, Thor's uh, deck was Daeva, it was going to be in the center. Sneak Judgment was the better. And of course, if you do have a uh, very center-heavy meta, Sneak Judgment is always going to be the way to go. Uh, it's Call Castle's Pay 2 Gauge. If you have another Dark Hero on the field, it can attack even if there was a monster in the center. Uh, when a monster leaves your field during your attack phase, draw a card only once per turn. As you saw, the large majority of the deck triggers this free draw for the per turn. Really, really good. Um, dirtiest card in the game. Run four Infinity Death Crits. Like, I. I don't even know where to begin on this. This is just the dirtiest card in the game. Yes, I know, Angus. You hate it. Uh, you can only cast this if your opponent has four life or less and you have no monsters on your field and you have a dark hero item. So you got to fill three uh, costs and pay two gauge and then you just flat out deal four uh, damage to the opponent. The damage cannot be reduced. It's a dirty, dirty card. You just went out of nowhere a lot of the times. Um, for spells, we are running... Four, I've seen through your move. Uh, typical negate spell. We are running three first dark hero hideout. It's the set spell that says whenever a dark hero monster enters the field, draw a card. Only activates once per turn. We are running three damage control. Damage control says I counter during an opponent's attack. I can pitch a card if I do. Uh, the next time it would be dealt damage reduced by two. If uh, the card I discarded was a Deity Robo, the next time it would, be, it would reduce it by four. Um, we're always going to try and pitch Kill Knight. Uh, every time we do for any of these abilities, uh, we get the added bonus of we either gauge a card or we make the opponent lose a gauge. Uh, next up, we run two Dark Hero Evil Aesthetics. Uh, it's pay a gauge, pay a life. You can choose one of the two abilities. Choose uh, up to two Dark Hero monsters with the same size as your drop zone, put them in your hand. Or choose one Dark Hero item from your drop zone and put it to your hand. So this lets us go fish anything we've paid gauge for out of the drop zone and put it to our hand. Or lets us go get a couple scars we've already killed. Uh, next up we've got two I'm finished with you. Pardon me one sec, guys. I dropped a card. Uh, I'm finished with you. Call cost to destroy a dark hero monster on your field. Uh, if you do, you can. It's call cast cost is destroy a dark hero on your field. Uh, counter is gain engage and draw a card. You can actually respond to any of your stuff returned to hand or scar blowing up once the attack has been finished to use I'm finished with you to gain that ability. Gain that. Uh, up next is. He is of the lowest ranks. You may only cast this when a size one or less dark hero on your field is destroyed. Uh, counter, search your deck for up to one dark hero monster or item. Put it in your hand, shove your deck. You may only play once per turn. Really, really good because it's not size restricted. And then finally, uh, or so the dream I had went. Uh, you can only cast when your opponent plays a spell, so the, of course the optimal time is when they play a shield. Uh, pay two gauge, and you get to nullify the spell the opponent cast. And that's the Dark Hero deck. It's a dirty, dirty deck, guys. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of decent aggro elements, some control elements. You do win just like right out of nowhere because of infinite deck crest. It is one of my favorite decks. Uh, again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Produced by the Mamba. Yeah, uh, produced by the Mamba. 
he still thinks it's a little bit fishy. Thanks so much, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe.